Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I've collected some really nice saw logs that I'm excited to get cut up, but honestly, they are just more than I can handle, so I've called in reinforcements. David from Hood's Custom Shop on YouTube is on his way over with his log arch trailer and a bandsaw sawmill to help me get them cut up. So hopefully by the end of the day, that tree you just watched fall is all slabbed up into some nice looking lumber. All right, this is the pin oak I cut down yesterday. It's 30 inch diameter at the base. We're gonna start limbing this up and work on getting this one ready to move over to the saw log. David's getting his truck. It's got a boom on the back of it that he thinks he can move the, the base with. But first things first, we gotta get it limbed up. Hey, you look like you've done that before. <laughs> Time or two. We used an online log weight calculator and put in all the dimensions for this oak log and came up with about 4,500 pounds. You're looking at a log that is 30 inch diameter, 12 feet 6 inches long, and red oak. So, pretty impressive to me that this homemade rig on the back of his trailer can lift this log at all.
she's heavy. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is actually, we're gonna have to move the sawmill down here so we can actually back up downhill because I just can't get enough traction with the, uh, the truck because it's picking up so much weight off the back end of the pickup. But he's gonna put some firewood on the trailer, so check this out. These two firewood totes weigh between 13 and 1500 pounds a piece, so they did a pretty good job to balance out the load. Part of the purpose of this video and of Getting Dave to come here and do this for me was to learn more about milling and later on I actually run the mill myself which was fun but also to show a lot of the work that people don't think of that goes into milling lumber. It's not just passing the mill back and forth. Just getting the logs to the location and onto the mill is a lot of work and setting up the mill is a lot of work. Like a lot of this type of work, you have to have a passion for it to make it worth it. If it's just dollars and cents, probably not. I'm really impressed with this trailer. He bought a Woodland Mills mill, but the majority of what you see here was repurposed or he manufactured it himself. And he's got these jacks all the way down it. He can put an impact gun on and use that to level them. So when you look at these specifications on a bandsaw mill for the diameter of material they can cut, you'll see two numbers. The first is the cut width. That's how wide the actual opening is and how wide of a piece of material you can actually cut. And the other number is the maximum log diameter. Now to get the number they tell you on the log diameter, you have to have a perfectly straight log with no knots on it whatsoever and then you have to go through a process of cutting a little off the top, rotating it, cutting the top and so on all the way around the log and then you can start working down into it but you can't just take a 30 inch diameter log like this one is set it up there and start slicing it up so what you're seeing now is just squaring up the log enough to get that first pass across the top.
I never cut shavings like this. I'm gonna have to look at the way he sharpens his chain. Oh, there we go. The blade guide just contacted the log, which means it's going to have to be trimmed even more to get the rest of this cut. So then would we turn it 180 and cut here? Yeah. So that then we can turn it 90 and start cutting? Is that yeah. the it probably in this specific scenario it'd probably be best if we cut this off right here. This little bit of bark just so we can start making some more passes to get this down smaller. Okay. We're going to try to turn this now using the forks on the tractor to lift on a strap that's cinched at the bottom. I'll have you bring your fork into this loop on the strap and then I'll have to unhook the clamp. got to be ready to jump right <laughs> we appreciate you right <laughs> Almost needs pushed from the other We skimmed one more cut off the top of the other side and that got us down to a block that was 12 inches by 16 inches 
and we cut that into 2 by 12s that were 12 foot long and I was able to get 8 of those 2 by 12s Pine 2x12s, 12 foot long, are currently running $63 a board. And this oak, to me, would be worth a lot more than that. This is the part that everyone sees, and it's actually pretty quick. The difficult and time-consuming part is getting the logs to this point. For the walnut, and I'm going to mill that myself. Didn't get quite low enough. So that tree I cut down the other day, we got eight 2x12s, 12 feet long out of it, plus all this wood with the live edge. Then I've got two loads like this of walnut from the other tree I cut down. This is all two inch thick slabs, 12 inches or a little more wide, about six and a half feet long. And like I said, this is the second batch of that. Now we're going to do some hedge. This is some of the hedge out of the same batch I cut the other day with the chainsaw mill. It looks even better when you put a little bit of water on it. These pieces right here are part of what I gave David in exchange for coming and working with me today. Alright, well that was a lot of fun. We got a lot of lumber. I'm going to send some home with David. Everyone, if you haven't already, go over to Dave's YouTube channel. That is... Hood's Custom Shop. He does a lot of sawmill work, custom woodwork, some how-to stuff, a lot of good content on there. And if you're local to the uh, Ozark area, Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, 
and you've got some logs, this is your guy. So find him on YouTube or Facebook. I appreciate you taking time to watch, and I'll see you next time.